I'm going to show you a tool that is very handy. A lot of people don't know about this, although out in the, the professionals out in the auto repair world ought to know about it. This is called the chassis ear. And chassis ear is kind of a, a trademark name by this Steelman company. What this thing is for is this is for finding chassis noises or body noises. So we're talking about squeaks and rattles, loose suspension components and stuff like that. So what we have here is this, this receiver unit. And then we've got these transmitters that are all numbered specifically. And you could get a few more transmitters. And then in this bag here, we have these, these clips on these cables. And what this, what we're going to do is we're going to, to set this thing up to find a suspension noise in a vehicle. Um, the, each one of the transmitters, you, you plug a clip into it like that, or one of these little clamps. And this clamp is actually kind of a microphone. So we turn this on, and we turn that on, and the receiver will pick up any, any noise here that, or I should say any vibration, it will transmit through this clamp as a noise. And then this transmitter will transmit that sound back to the receiver. So I'm going to set We'll turn a couple of these on. So we've got number one and number two are on. Now, if I turn the, the volume up on this, you can probably hear it. But when I, when I tap this clamp, you can see, or you can hear the noise. You can even see the signal right here. So what that allows us to do is we can attach this to one suspension component. We can attach number two to a different suspension component. And when I push the button here to select number two, this is now the one that is active. So we can do four. We could do up to six. We only have four transmitters. We're going to set these up on a vehicle that is making a kind of a clunking sound. And it, the, the sound sounds like bad struts, except the struts have been replaced uh, along with the strut mount. So it, it's probably not strut related. It's probably something else. With a visual inspection of things like ball joints, control arm bushings, you know, everything that's the struts, the mounts, the everything that's underneath this vehicle, everything seems fine. And so what we're going to do is we're going to hook this this chassis ear tool up to it and then we'll 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 do some testing and see if we can can home in on the noise because it's a very definite noise. It is very loud, and this will this will definitely help us to find it. So let's hook it up to the vehicle. This is the vehicle we're working on. It is a Honda Odyssey, second generation. And it's got a McPherson strut front suspension with rack and pinion steering. And so we're gonna find out where the noise is. Now, if we were concerned about possible strut noise, we could, we could get into this area here behind this cowl cover and we could hook up to the top of the strut. And that's a really good place to detect strut noise is here. I don't think I want to worry about that to begin with. I think we're going to we're going to go up underneath and look around under there and find a spot where we can hook up our microphones to try and detect this noise. But if we if we really suspected a strut, this is where I would put it on the on the nut or the stud that's at the top of the strut here in the strut tower. But we're gonna go, we're gonna go look elsewhere. Okay, we are going to mount these sensors, or microphones, or whatever you wanna call them. Now the, the kit comes with a whole bunch of these Velcro straps, and you're gonna need a bunch of them. Because we're gonna use these to attach the microphone wire and the transmitter securely down underneath this vehicle. So what I think we'll do is I think we will attach to this nut right here that is holding our, our lower ball joint in place. And this is a pretty strong spring clamp on here. So, if I 
attach it like that and then leave some slack in the wire like this that will allow that joint to flex when we turn now before we actually take it out and drive it we're going to bounce it in place because sometimes you can pick up the sound these microphones are sensitive enough you can you can pick up the sound without even taking it out for a ride I'm going to strap that right there like that Okay, if we do take it out, we're not going to go down the freeway or anything, so that should be okay. It's clearing our sway bar. I should also mention these sway bar links here are also new. Because those sway bar links can make the kind of clunking noise we're hearing. Anyway, that's ready. It's turned on. That one's ready to go. Now, where else do we want to listen for some noise? Out here, those sway bar bushings look nice and tight. It's not the kind of noise that would be caused by something like that, I don't think. We could certainly do the other ball joint. And I think, I think I will. Okay, that one's ready to go. Where else do we want to test? You know, there's lots of possibilities. I'm thinking just for the heck of it, I'm a little curious about the, the rack and pinion assembly. Sometimes when you turn, it seems to really affect the noise. So I may put one, we may set one up and attach it to one of these brackets up here where the rack is. So let's get another microphone. Okay, one more. We might as well do one more. Let's see. Hmm. I'm thinking maybe we will attach one to that strut maybe right where that sway bar link is up there towards the top so what I'm going to do is I'm going to lower the vehicle down a little bit and we'll strap it to the strut itself and clip it on to the, the top of that link just for the just for the fun of it just so we can get the sound from another place that we haven't really tapped into yet
Okay, we've got all the microphones hooked up. We are going to go between our four channels here that we've got the microphone set up for. And I'm going to have somebody bounce the, the vehicle. And we'll see if we get any, any sounds. So go ahead and bounce it. Hmm. That's channel one. Keep going if you can. That's channel two. Sounds like crickets. Channel three. Yeah, something very faint there, but that's not very telling. Okay, and channel four, last one. So we can hear the noise that is going through those parts, but it doesn't sound like the noise that that we're hearing when we're out driving the vehicle. So we are going to go out and drive this vehicle and make it make the noise and then see if any of the microphones pick it up. Okay, so we are out driving on the road. Go ahead and roll up that window. We're just gonna go over a few bumps here to see if we can get it to do it. So we're on channel one. That was some pretty good bumps. If you watch the this little visual scale here is is also helpful. Okay, slow down a little bit. We gotta do a U-turn. Let's see what channel two is doing. We're getting a lot of scratchy noise because we're so close to those brake pads and rotors. <laughs> that was over here. Three. Three is the one that's up by the power steering rack. That's not it. Yeah, definitely not three. Four is the one that's on the sway bar link. Wait till we get to some good bumps here. Oh, I think two might be the one. What we're listening for is we're listening for the sound through here to match up with the sound that we're hearing from the, the front of the vehicle. And two sounds really close. Okay, that's a that's a microphone rubbing. <laughs> Oops. So go go kind of slow over these bumps up here. Okay, stop. Back up. Just reverse over the same bumps because those really make it hit hard. Slower. We go forward again. We're going to go back to channel one. Okay, go back again. Oh, someone behind you.
you know we get it a, a little tiny bit but it's not like channel two so we're gonna go one more time try to hit that that big bump right there with this right front wheel so here we are on channel two again oh yeah oh yeah okay so we're gonna go back into the shop and we are going to pull off that right front wheel it's something behind there it's it's the ball joint or it is um, something related to the front hub because we are we're fixed hard to the front hub or I should say the front knuckle so that could be it could be bearing although I don't think it's bearing could be the strut but like I said the strut is new and it made the noise the noise didn't change when the struts were replaced a while back it stayed exactly the same and it's actually been noisy like this for about the past year so but it, but it's getting worse so we're going to we're gonna look at that ball joint real closely. 